Durham, North Carolina for a Thursday primetime matchup between NCCU and Bethune-Cookman. Yeah, you can go ahead and sign me up for this one. I had the homie B dot with me in the Bull City, and you know we was out here looking for that good free play. HBCU game day. Listen, when I come through, I like to be hands-on. My boy Craig said, listen, I can get it popping back here with him. Craig, let the people know what you got popping over here on the grill. And this is early. This is light for Craig. This, this, is, this is very light right now. Right now I got chili going. I got the hot dogs going. I got the baked beans going. Then I got a sweet and sour chicken going right now. Now listen, he told me I can get some of these wings. I'm going to definitely jump into them. And them hot dogs. He don't put barbecue sauce on his hot dogs. He said in Jersey they don't do that. No, all we do is, all we do is mustard and sauerkraut, nothing else. Mustard and sauerkraut, they don't really do that, so I'm going to see if I can slide me a little bit of barbecue on my wall. You know what I'm saying? HBCU game day right here on Aspire TV. You hear the music over there? Hey, just left from the tailgate. Still got chicken in my teeth. You understand me? HBCU game day right here on Aspire TV. Now we're about to get out here to the game. They warming up. Hey, as a matter of fact, I'm about to go enjoy the game from the stands. Hey, Wally, let them know about some of the highlights, what's going on at this game. Pipe up! So, Pete Game Dot. We got them Florida boys up from Daytona Beach. Bethune Cookman, AKA Sauce U, AKA The Drip Academy. I mean, these boys is just too lit, you feel me? But these North Carolina Central Eagles not here for all of that. There are no nonsense what you got on my 40 Debo type squad. BCU looking to solidify themselves as contenders in the Battle Royale to represent the MEAC in the Celebration Bowl. And in the second quarter, Jimmy Deuces Robinson goes 54 yards for six. Why they call him Deuces? This why. He chucks the peace sign to the Eagle defense en route to the touchdown from Akevius Williams. Wildcats up 7-3 at the half. The marching Wildcats stayed home, so it was all NCCU sound machine at the half, and I was all the way here for it. So I'm making my way back to my spot after halftime, right? And I see an old school Palaya from the Himalayas in an obviously tailored cream color suit. And it just so happens to be the legend himself, Mr. Alvin Shine Wyatt. So you know I had to pull up and get a little game from the godfather of swag himself. You know, we only lost one game, and you know, that was against uh, uh, Miami, which you know, uh, those things happen. But as far as the conference team and the other team outside the conference, Jackson State, uh, I think they're doing a fantastic job. We just got to keep it rolling. We're for a tough fight here tonight, though. Now that was just a little taste. We're going to give you the full interview on the No Huddle on Aspire TV next week, so go ahead and set that DVR for next Saturday. Third quarter, my guy, Akevius, other side of the pillow, Williams, he was real cool on the read option for six, Wildcats up 14-3. Now y'all remember my guy Deuces, right? Well, he pieced out on the Eagles one more time. This one is a 79-yard kick return touchdown, and Bethune Cooking University is up 21-6 in the fourth quarter. Now at this point, they was just out here playing games with the Eagles. This one starts off as an inside handoff, then it's a jet sweep that ends up as a halfback pass to the quarterback of Kevious Williams who could have moonwalked into the end zone. 27-6, Wildcats got the birds all clawed up, and I'm a central guy, so y'all gonna get this six yard touchdown from Davius Richard to EJ Hicks. The Wildcats get the impressive 27-13 win, and my guys at Bethune wanted y'all to know that they coming for the MEAC championship point blank, period. I was just starting to find our momentum and find our push to start trying to finish games. That's all that we're doing. And we're starting to, to come together as a team, more as a team, and starting to play for one another and, and just feel just feel that camaraderie that we got right now. Trying to go one and know every week. That's our goal, going one and know. We go one and know every week, we win it all. Man, we just executing the plays that are called. It starts on Sunday, man. We get in the film room, and then we just we learn our opponent, and then we just come out and we, we, we play the game. I mean, it's, it's fun, man. We got we to gotta eliminate the mistakes, and we just got to execute every play you get. Yeah, we're taking over. We won that championship. We won it all. Number one, second play. No second place. No second place.